So how, how did it start to dawn on you that there was something inside you that could see performance better than you could perform? The, the weird thing was I always wanted to be doing the writing and directing, but as an actor. And they had like a 15 year, you know, very good career as, as a character actor, you know, being the sixth lead on TV shows. But then in that case, I would always pal around with the writers, get to know them, and then I would always write an episode of whatever show I was on, but then the show would get canceled because you know no show I was on ever went more than a season. And then I finally got on Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and it was a hit. Finally, I was on a hit show, and I was like, oh my God, I finally did it. I finally, I'm gonna be taken care of for seven years. It was the greatest thing ever. Do a first year on that, take all my money, put it into this low budget film that I'm gonna make and direct and star in, and then, once I shoot that, I get a call, oh, we're writing out of the show. So I remember the, like, the big moment for me was, um, I was, went to an audition for Mama's Family. And I'm sitting in the waiting room, and Michael McKean is waiting to read for the same role. And he's one of my heroes, well, a comic hero. And I'm just like, oh my god. Here I am, Michael McKean has to audition for Mama's Family. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, and all I can see is like, my, and he's talented, so he's gonna get the job. I'm, this is my future, like, I'm just gonna be auditioning against people who are more talented than me and more famous than me for, for you know, crummy roles. And it's like, I gotta get out of this. And then, piling on top of that, once, you know, I, I took the money, like I said, from, from my first se season on Sabrina and put it all into this low budget feature that I wrote and directed and starred in. But then I had an audition for, they were gonna do Honey, I Shrunk the Kids as a, uh, as a series. Right. And John Landis was going to direct the pilot. So like, I go and have this meeting with John Landis and he's like, so hey, I see you just directed a movie. Yes. So we go on this 10 minute, like two directors talk in and it was the greatest thing. I was like, oh my God, he's one of uh, a guy who made movies that I love. So then, you know, after 10 minutes he goes like, okay, so you're going to read for us. And it, the come down for me was just like, oh no, now I'm that guy again. I'm just an actor who's looking for a job and I may or may not get it. And, you know, I, and I did the audition, I wasn't even very good. You had a glimpse of the room. Totally, I was like, I wanna be that, I wanna be that, I wanna be the director, I wanna be the, in charge and, like, and be able to be a peer with these people. You know? And so that was the final thing. And then the final, final thing was, uh, and this is such a terrible story, um, I, I, I'd already kind of transitioned out, but then um, Drew Carey asked me to do this like little two-line part on the Drew Carey show. So I get there, and they put me in this like dressing room that's like a pen. Right. And it had no bathroom or anything. And I was like, I was kind of sick that day, and so I like, go in like, where's the bathroom? And I go into the stage, and there's like this bathroom. So I go into the bathroom. And I take, I totally befoul the bathroom. I mean, it's like you know, horrendous <laughs> evacuation in there, you know, and just like. Oh, so I like leave, you know, I go back to my room and I come back in and there's a big sign on the door so please do not take a shit in this bathroom. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm this I'm done. I'm done with, with being an actor now. <laughs> Literally the the straw that broke the camel's back was, was a horrendous there, was, exactly. there wasn't enough <laughs> dignity like totally. It's like I thought I was at a point where I could at least get my own bathroom and now I've literally got people mad After at me. After 20 years of of working at this career. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Yeah, well, you know what? No, but I think the that most that's, valuable shit of my life. That's right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is. Offcamera.com. Check it out.